thus far, the Royal Bahamas Police Force has confirmed that there are five deaths in Abaco. Teams will go to Abaco as soon as possible for full and proper assessment and identification. We are in the midst of a historic tragedy in parts of our northern Bahamas. Our mission and focus now is search, rescue, and recovery. I ask for your prayers for those in affected areas and for our first responders. The initial reports from Abaco is that the devastation is unprecedented and extensive. They are deeply worrying. The images and videos we are seeing are heartbreaking. Many homes, businesses, and other buildings have been completely or partially destroyed. There is an extraordinary amount of flooding and damage to infrastructure. I wish to report that the United States Guard is already on the ground in Abaco and has rescued a number of injured individuals. We know that there are a number of people in Grand Bahama who are in serious distress, and we will provide relief and assistance as soon as possible after the Met Department has given the all clear. I strongly urge the residents of Grand Bahama to remain indoors and be as safe as possible until the all clear is given by the appropriate authorities, my fellow Bahamians and residents. As Bahamians, we must unite with singular focus of helping our brothers and sisters in need. We will provide information as to where and how individuals, families, and corporate citizens can donate resources and funds to assist those in need. Due to the extent of the devastation, when weather permits and transportation resumes, I ask Bahamians and residents on islands not devastated by this monster storm to open their homes to friends, families, and others who may be in need. This is the time for us as Bahamians to show our love, our care, and our compassion for our fellow brothers and sisters.